Before moving to Grimsby, watch this. As in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the pros, some of the cons, some of the local businesses, and what makes Grimsby unique so you can determine if Grimsby is the right area for you to call home. So if you're new here, my name's Matthew, I'm a local realtor, and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Burlington and the surrounding areas like Grimsby. So if you're interested in moving here, feel free to hit the subscribe button and send me a message if you're looking for more one-on-one -on -one help. But in today's video, Let's discuss all about Grimsby and what it's like to call it home. So Grimsby is located on Lake Ontario, just inside the Niagara region. And because of this location, Grimsby's at the start of wine country, where you'll find a wide variety of different beautiful rolling hills, miles of manicured grapevines, wineries that have been passed down from multiple generations and surrounded by scenic little towns like Beamsville, Vineland, and Jordan. And if you're looking to drive or commute to a larger city, Grimsby is a great location as not only do you have the QEW running throughout it, giving you easy access no matter where you live within the city, but also you're just a 30 minute drive from Niagara Falls in the United States border. And then you're only about an hour 15, hour and a half drive from to Toronto. So so overall, Grimsby is a relatively small town, especially when you compare it to the neighboring city of Hamilton, as Grimsby's population is just under 30,000 people calling it home. However, this definitely has to be one of the pros about living in Grimsby is the small town community it offers, as not only have I heard amazing stories of the community banding together to raise some local money for, let's say, the local hospital, but also collect food and cans for the local food drive, as well as a wide variety of different other activities just to support its neighbors. And to be honest, I truly believe that Grimsby's town slogan really sums up Grimsby well, and that is friendly by nature. As I've heard so many of these stories about the community being so friendly, but also because of the location of the Niagara region, especially in the spring and summertime, you'll definitely understand what friendly by nature means. Then other than just the small town community coming together for those activities, you'll also find those familiar faces at one of the many local events and festivals that happen within the city's borders throughout the year. As of course, not only do you have the classic parades like Canada's Day Festival or the Santa Claus Parade, but you'll also find other ones like Earth Day Cleanup where a community goes out and cleans up local garbages of protected areas. But other than this amazing small time charm and often negative that comes with this smaller town community is there's definitely less amenities to choose from. Now, while Gramsci definitely has enough amenities that for the most part, you're not going to be running all the way to Hamilton every week to go get something. There's definitely going to be ways that you're going to be commuting more, whether your kids are in sports and they just need different sporting fields or ice rinks to go attend to just more specialized purchases. You're probably going to have to make a trip out to Hamilton. But with all this less main chain realty comes some amazing opportunity for local businesses to thrive, which is the next point I absolutely love about Grimsby is all the local businesses. As here, you'll find Grimsby's Bench Kitchen, which is a gourmet sandwich shop producing some of the most unique and delicious sandwich salad and soup combos, all made with local ingredients. And then another local business I have to shout out is the Olive Board, which is a perfect spot to catch up with some old friends while you enjoy a charcuterie board and a wide selection of different wines to choose from. And a lot of those wines will be local to the region. But other than that, you have the classic spot, Noni's Pizzeria, which has been a three generational pizza spot where you can grab some amazing thin crust pizza with the best ingredients in town. Then other than the local businesses in the downtown court, you'll find a wide variety of local businesses throughout Grimsby and around the city. And that's because of all the amazing local farms located within just a short drive from the city center. As two of my personal favorites are Smith Two Century Farms, where you can either go pick your own cherries in July and fill up a full basket, or go pick your own peaches in August. Then you also have Sun Ray Orchard, which is a family farm that's been running since 1943 and is dedicated to producing a wide variety of different fruits from apples to pumpkins to vegetables like cucumbers or zucchinis or pumpkins for that matter. But also here you can find a wide variety of different delicious baked goods in their bakery area. So if you can't make it to one of these farms during the summer months, 
Don't worry, as there's still a farmer's market that happens every Thursday where the city of Grimsby shuts down a part of Main Street to host some local vendors selling their local produce goods and baked goods. So definitely a worthwhile shot to go check out if you're in the downtown core on Thursdays. So other than the local amazing farms and farmers markets it has to offer, there's also a wide variety of different green spaces for you to check out while living in Grimsby. And the very first one you need to know about is 50 Conservation Point, as here is the largest park by the water offering you a variety of things to do. As not only here you'll find a nice sandy beach to relax on, or you can dock your boat in the harbor and grab some dinner at its local restaurant, or you can go hike the variety of trails bringing you to some amazing fishing spots or perhaps you're interested in bird watching, this park here is recognized as one of the top parks for bird watching due to its location with all the migrating birds stopping by here. So you can see a wide variety of different types of birds you may not see anywhere else. But other than that, if you wanna spend a couple of days in this park here, you have the option as there's a wide variety of different RV campgrounds also for you to rent out. Then another large park you can go check out while in Grimsby is Beamer Memorial Conservation Area. As here, you can find even more trails to go explore the Niagara Escarpment while discovering those new migrating birds. But also at the end of the trail here, you'll be presented with some of the most breathtaking panoramic views of the Escarpment, Grimsby and just Lake Ontario in general. Then as you live throughout Grimsby, you'll find a wide variety of those smaller parks with those baseball diamonds, jungle gyms, and walking paths within your neighborhood's borders. And if you're living closer to Lake Ontario or the north side of Grimsby, you'll find some amazing views at these parks here where you can still see the Mississauga and Toronto skyline. Then the last green space or park I'll mention is Grimsby Beach. Now this beach here is perfect for you to set up and enjoy the day outside. Now it's not the sandiest beach as it is a rock beach, however it is perfect for picking up a few rocks and figuring out how far you can skip them. Then while you're at Grimsby Beach, it's hard to miss the classic Victorian cottages otherwise known as gingerbread houses right beside the beach. As here you'll find some of the original structures that made up Grimsby of these Victorian cottages with elaborate details that almost look like the most elaborate dollhouses that you've ever seen. And then not to mention how detailed they are, but they're all painted with such vibrant shades that use every single crayon in the Crayola box. So this is definitely something that makes Grimsby unique and you have to go check out when living here. And yes, people actually do live in these Victorian style homes. So if you're lucky enough and want to live in one of these places, you'll just have to wait for the next one to come on the market. So talking about real estate brings me on actually to my next point, which is the, all the different real estate opportunities Grimsby offers you. As there's something for everyone in Grimsby, as not only do you have the downtown core of Grimsby offering you a few low-rise buildings but mainly a lot of detached homes and townhomes sitting on decent sized lots but also you have Grimsby by the lake which is a newer development area offering a wide variety of different townhomes semi-detached and condos all offering stunning views of Lake Ontario and then all are just also a short walk away from the waterfront but also in this little community here you'll notice there's a real emphasis on live and shop as on the main street on the main floor of the main street I should say there's a wide variety of different local restaurants and businesses for you to choose from and then also throughout Grimsey you'll find a mixture of both those older detached communities who were primarily built either in the 80s 90s or early 2000s or if you go more south or to more north, basically outside of the central part of Grimsey, you'll find some newer detached homes sitting on great size lots. So if you're interested in learning about the current real estate opportunities located in Grimsby at the time of you watching this here, you can go check out my website to see exactly what the real estate prices are when watching this. 
Or if you want to stay up to date and get notified every time a new listing comes on the market that matches what you're looking for, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to set you up with a custom search alert. But other than the great real estate opportunities, if you have some young kids, you're probably also interested in the schooling opportunities Grimsby provides. As Grimsby is home to a wide variety of different public and Catholic elementary schools, as well as two high schools. So if you're interested in learning more about these rankings, I'll leave a link to the description to the Fraser Institute for you to go check them out yourself. But other than the elementary schools and high schools, you're also just a short drive away from a lot of different post-secondary options, as not only do you have Mohawk College and McMaster University located in Hamilton, but then out to St. Catherine, you have Brock University. Then another thing you're probably interested in is the healthcare, as Grimsby has some great healthcare offered by its local hospital, the West Lincoln Memorial Hospital, which has been caring for the Grimsby residents for more than 70 years and is a community hospital providing both inpatient and outpatient services as well as emergency surgeries and maternal and newborn programs. However, just recently the town of Grimsby announced that they will be building a newer state-of-the-art hospital located just beside West Lincoln Memorial Hospital offering more state-of-the-art equipment and increasing their capacity and their ability to perform different operations and procedures. Then another pro about living in Grimsby is definitely all the amazing wineries it offers because it's in that Niagara region that really makes it perfect for growing grapes. So you'll definitely need to sign up a couple summer weekends to go on a few wine tours where you can go explore one or multiple different wineries tasting delicious reds and white wines. So if you're thinking about Grimsby might be the right home from you based on this video, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to help you out and answer any more of your questions that you have about Grimsby. And if you're interested in learning more about another city or area that is similar to Grimsby, the next video I'd recommend you go check out are my top pros and cons of living in Stony Creek, which is located right beside Grimsby. So you can find that video right here. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video and I hope you have a great day.